Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you how to make my fast and easy instant birria. So if you want to learn how I make it, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so here I already have all of my ingredients. As always, they will be listed in the description box. So with that being said, let's begin cooking. To a pressure cooker, we're going to begin by adding four cups of beef broth or water, three tablespoons of white vinegar, one tablespoon of tomato paste, five tablespoons of New Mexico chili powder, one tablespoon of chile ancho powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, onion powder, ground cumin, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, oregano, black pepper, one teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, one fourth teaspoon of ground clove, and coarse salt to taste, I'm using five teaspoons. We're going to mix it together, and here you can taste it for salt and see if you need to adjust it, but once we have that, we're going to be adding two and a half pounds of chuck tender roast, along with two pounds of short ribs. We're also going to add two Roma tomatoes, half an onion, five garlic cloves, and four bay leaves. We're going to close it and allow it to cook on high for 55 minutes. Okay, and once our meat is done cooking, we're going to allow it to rest for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're going to get ready to open our pressure cooker. And let me tell you that it smells delicious. We're going to remove the bay leaves. Okay, we're going to remove the meat. And look at that, it should be nice and tender. Okay, once we have removed the meat, we're just going to skim the top layer of our broth. It is all the grease that we can use to fry our tortillas. Okay, after removing the grease, we can get ready to shred our meat. I'm going to get rid of the bones. And just shred the meat. And once we have shredded our beef, we're just going to grab our consomme and just pour it all over. And just like that, we have our super easy and delicious beef birria. We can get ready to serve it however you want to serve it, either in burritos, tacos, ramen, or just like that with a side of rice and beans. But now, I am ready. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I hope you give this recipe a try. It's seriously super easy to make. And of course, you know, if you don't wanna make it in the pressure cooker and you wanna make it in the crock pot, you can also do that. Um, you could cook it on high for four hours or on low for eight, depending you know, on your busy day. But let me tell you that this right here is honestly super delicious, so flavorful. And depending on the type of chile, um, it will depend, you know, if it's spicy or not. This is my favorite one, um, and it's a little spicy, so you don't have to add any other pepper besides the chili powder. But I am so ready. Hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. So flavorful, juicy, so delicious. Mm -hmm. And you can always make it, you know, tacos, burritos, like I said, anything you want. Mm. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make my fast and easy instant birria. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.